So the first five cards, the first row is your love reading, and the bottom row is your career, finances, family. It's like more of a general reading. So let's start with this energy first so we can clear it out the way, and then we'll talk about your work and your finances and other sectors of your life. Um, it seems to me as if you were, you know, tying up loose ends with a relationship here with the world card. This is like emotionally um, trying to move on, trying to pick up the pieces and trying to move on, realizing that something has to end, realizing that old ways and old habits are no longer serving its purpose in your life, okay? So many of you have received some type of a major closure in a situation. Uh, you're, st you're trying to move on, but I feel like emotionally, uh, with this energy, it's almost like looking at the past and looking at what has been and, and looking at it through a sense of like nostalgia, but telling yourself that you need to move on. Um, I feel like for many of you, there has been a situation that you waited on for a really, really, really long time. You worked at things. You waited for it to end, and finally, you know, it has ended, and you're trying to move on with your life. For others of you, there is a person that you've invested a lot of time, a lot of energy in, and I feel like you weren't getting that payout that you're, you were hoping for, okay? However, what's coming through as well is the tower, and the tower is something that comes on very, very suddenly. It's very unexpected, and as adamant as you were about moving on, something stood in your way, somebody revealed something or something like a, a turn of events kind of um, caught you off guard and it came in very unexpectedly and then you have to go back to it. So for many of you, this is an unfinished business that you have with somebody. You might have waited for them. They didn't make a move. And you tell yourself, "I this is too painful. I need to move on. I need to move forward. And then they intercept you energetically. They felt that you were pulling away. So they intercepted and they drew you back. They, they you know, held you back or they are trying to reach out and trying to get you to come back. And you do come back. I pulled out two clarifier cards to see what the tower is all about. And this is the person that you're dealing with, okay? This is the magician. Um, in the upright position, it's a very, very good card. It basically means someone who's very knowledgeable, who has a lot of options as well as to who they want to date, who they want to be with. They're quite charismatic. They're quite intelligent. And I also feel with this card, very, very spiritual as well. It's somebody who's wise, who gives great advice, who fixes things, who solves problems, who a lot of people admire and look up to. And with this energy, it's almost like they're drawing you in. They want to be with you. And I feel like they might have intercepted. You were adamant about moving on. And you were no longer willing to wait on this person. And then they come back into the picture. And what they are telling you, I feel like, I, I feel a lot of speech, a lot of communication. So you could be dealing with another air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. You could be dealing as well with um, somebody who is different from you, ethnically, racially, culturally, linguistically. The world deals more with like foreign cultures, foreign people, and Aquarius, you have, you know, friends and lovers from all walks of life. So I'm not surprised to see this. So I feel like with the magician energy, it's somebody who's talking to you and they're like, let's manifest this relationship together. Let's seek stability. Let's plan where we're going to live. Let's plan the next phase of our relationship. Let's plan marriage. This is a big marriage card. So you have a big, huge commitment that's coming through. You might have been waiting, waiting, waiting for some turn of events to finally take place. And I feel like, you know, this is the week that you have some clarity from this person because they're trying to manifest this marriage, this relationship with you. The Four of Wands is sort of like um, a big celebration. It deals heavily with somebody that wants to partner up, that wants to create a stable future with you. This person that you're dealing with, they might have been, you know, constantly trying to manifest things to make their lives more stable. And they might have seen you as somebody who 
unfortunately and you know um, as an Aquarius myself we get a bad rep for this and um, people think that Aquarius are very flighty okay people that don't know as well think we're very very flighty because of our air sign nature we could be talking about one topic and then we veer off on a tangent in another topic but we never lose track of the original conversation people just don't know that so a lot of the times um, people think that you're flighty, but as an Aquarius, as a fixed sign, we know that once we love, we're very committed. And we know that once we have set our eyes on a specific course of action, we're very, very, very dependable. Not a lot of people know that. And I also feel as well, uh, once you fall in love, you know, you, you will wait and, and, and just wait and wait and wait for a really long time for the other person to be ready and I feel like there was a lot of heartache in this wait waiting for things and things just never culminated things just never came to fruition and you're just like I'm tired of waiting so you start out this week telling yourself I'm tired of waiting I need to move on I need to manifest something that is a little bit more stable something that's more emotionally nurturing for me and then somebody intercepts and kind of like throw a wrench in the works with all your plans and you have to go back to it. I do see this is a month where, uh, I'm sorry, a week where you are talking to another person to solidify some plans. And if this is the person that you're dealing, if this is not the person that you're dealing with, another air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, this is um, communication where it's like very structured, very straightforward, very, um, very proactive, okay? Let's do this, let's do that. Let's decide on the wedding date. Let's decide on the home. Let's decide on the location. Let's decide on where uh, we're going to settle down and raise a family, okay? If this is your energy, this is basically you telling the other person, I want conditions. If we're going to make this work, here are my conditions. I feel like for some of you in relationships, you're taking the relationship to the next level. The person that you're with might have gotten, um, they, they might have cold feet or they're really, really slow to act because you waited. But you care about them, so you waited. And they just took forever, right? So now you have an opportunity to go back and fix the situation. And then likewise, I feel like, you know, this is a no-nonsense type of an energy where you're telling the other person, um, here are my conditions, here are my stipulations. If you want to be with me, this is what I require. I also feel for many of you, because your back is turned on the situation, you're just like, I can't do this anymore and I'm checking myself out. So I feel like it can go either way. But for those of you who are single, you're getting uh, somebody who is going to be coming in very fast, possibly culturally uh, different from you. They want a relationship. They want something tangible. They want something a little bit more real. And I feel like, honestly, adult conversations are going to start flowing for you guys in the love department this month, um, this week, okay? Um, let me look at your career and your work and, you know, everything else, okay? Um, first of all, I'm hearing here with the judgment card in the Ten of Pentacles, this is good news coming through the family front. Family um, chipping in to help, uh, helping hand uh, to calm your nerves is what I'm feeling. Emotionally, you might be feeling a little bit crowded. The Temperance card is a card about patience, is a card about, you know, seeing the best in people, um, looking at a, a, a situation or a problem from a place of wisdom, a place of tolerance. Family are going to be front and center for this month. And, you know, family members, um, they can work our nerves. And you guys are so independent that, you know, you don't like mom and dad telling you what to do. You don't like people to um, infringe upon your independence. And be careful about this. You identify so strongly with the things that you do and the things that you believe in. So if someone tells you, you know, oh, don't do that, do this, it, 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 it grates your nerves, right? Like it, it makes you feel like they look at you like you're incompetent. 
So just be careful and not th take things so personally, especially if it comes from family. And especially, it's coming from a place of love, okay? So be a little bit more patient when you're dealing with family members. In the work front, we have here the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, which basically means things are being delayed on purpose. And, you know, when you want certain things, you have to have it here and now. And so I feel like they're also telling you, you know, be patient with this. Things are, good things are coming in, but it is a little bit slower than what you're expecting. So if you're looking for some type of a resolution in the work environment, and, you know, keep in mind that we have been dealing with the Mercury retrograde period as well. This is, um, the Mercury retrograde ends on August 19th. So we have, you know, today and then tomorrow. So a lot of projects that you started or things that you have done, you have to go back and redo them, okay? So that's what I feel here. Um, I'm also feeling in the work environment, too many people are involved. There, This is a very crowded type of an energy. Everyone is there trying to improve a situation, but it's just too many people involved and too many ideas to take into account. And so there's going to be, it's, it's very busy for you guys on the work front. So it's like a lot of projects that are coming in, a lot of big clients as well. Uh, a lot of people emailing you, asking you, do this, do that. And then you're just like a little bit frazzled. So the trick here is, you know, with the high priestess, trying to prioritize, trying to tr um, trust your intuition. Um, rather than consulting people, I feel like you know exactly what you need to do. So trust your gut instincts, trust your intuition. Be patient when you're dealing with people. Look at the fine print, okay? If you're looking at a contract, for example, read the fine prints. If you're looking at documents, look at it very carefully to check for, for authenticity. If you're looking at... Um, if you're looking at files, if you're looking at memos, and if you're looking at emails, be very, very careful that, you know, in, uh, in the process of rushing or if there are time constraints, that you're doing things right. I do feel as well with this judgment card, there's major, major breakthroughs happening for you guys. But once again, it's coming a little bit slower than, than you anticipate. And I also feel this is a week where you're going to need to uh, rely heavily on other people okay other people will offer solutions or other people will help bolster your finances bolster your income bolster your credibility as well in the work front all right so overall a really really good month, uh, week